please hit that subscribe button. Hey, everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup this season. If you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores. And we're live. Hey, everybody. It's time for another episode of Hit or Miss, where I look at NHL teams' first-round draft picks from 2005 through 2015 and determine if each pick is a hit or a miss. We've done the Islanders and the Rangers. In keeping with the news, I figured we might as well do the New Jersey Devils next. So that's who we'll be talking about today. Before we get started, I just have to ask that you please hit that subscribe button if you're new and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already, as both of those things greatly help out the channel. But let's get into it here. New Jersey Devils first round draft pick starting in 2005 where they selected 23rd overall and took right wing Nicholas Bergfors. Now this one is a miss as Bergfors did play at the NHL level but not for very long, only playing 173 games, scoring 35 goals, 48 assists for 83 points and a minus 23 rating. He just never really became a a, a consistent player at the NHL level. He could chip in a little bit offensively, but uh, did not have a very long career to say the least, and that makes this pick a miss. When you're taking someone in the first round, you really want them to become a solid, consistent NHLer. In 2006, they selected 30th overall, and with that pick, they took defenseman Matthew Corrente. And this one, once again, is a miss, as Corrente only ever played 34 NHL games. Scoring no goals, six assists for six points and a minus five rating. Now, Matthew Corrente did play for a long time in the AHL and was a very, very good AHL defenseman. However, he could never make the jump to the NHL and could not stick at the top level. Uh, he did get a few games as a depth defenseman here or there, obviously, as he did play 34 games, but spent a large majority of his career in the AHL and uh, just could never fully make that jump to being a full-time NHLer, so that is a miss. 2007, they did not have a first-round pick, so we move on to 2008, where they selected 24th overall and took left-wing Matthias Tedenby. This one, once again, is a miss, as he's only ever played 120 NHL games, scoring 10 goals, 20 assists for 30 points and a minus 20 rating. Just another guy who didn't you know, ever fully stick at the NHL level and couldn't consistently stay in an NHL lineup, so that makes him a miss. 2009, they selected 20th overall, and with that pick, they took center Jacob Josephson. Another miss here for the Devils. As we can see, their drafting was not great. Uh, three, he, now, he lasted longer than anyone else we've talked about yet. He did play 315 NHL games, um, you know, I remember him in the Devils lineup. However, he was never more than a fourth liner. He only scored 20 career goals, 44 assists, and 64 points with a minus 21 rating. And he, at you know, at one point was a regular in the Devils lineup as a fourth liner. Uh, but that did not last very long. That was only, I think, for a year or two. And, um, you know, then he was kind of in and out of the lineup. And, and did, again, did not last very long in, in the NHL at the top level. And, you know, when you're drafting in the first round, that is not what you're looking for. So that is another miss here for the Devils. 2010, they did not have a first round pick. So we move on to 2011, where they selected fourth overall. And with that pick, took defenseman Adam Larson. Now with this one, I'm going to give the Devils a hit on this one. Because Larson... No, he never, I guess, fully became the player that he was expected to be. Um, but he has had a good NHL career. He's now with the Edmonton Oilers. Um, he was traded to Edmonton that got the Devils' Taylor Hall, so that was good on the Devils' part. Uh, but he has become a solid top-four defenseman, um, a, a pretty good defensive defenseman in his own zone. Doesn't really produce a whole lot offensively, but he can chip in, with a, uh, especially assist-wise. He's got 547 games played, 21 goals, 106 assists for 127 points and a plus 16 rating. Um, you know, again, you know, he's become a pretty solid defensive defenseman. He's a top four guy for the Oilers. So we'll go ahead and give them a hit on that one. 2012, they selected 29th overall. And with that pick, they took left wing Stefan Matteau. 
And we're back to misses here for New Jersey as he's only ever played 73 games in the NHL, scoring five goals, five assists for 10 points and a minus 14 rating. Another guy who has never been more than a fourth liner uh, is an organizational depth guy and, you know, has never become a consistent presence in the NHL. So that makes him a miss. 2013, they did not have a first round pick. So we move on to 2014, where they selected center John Quenville. And you guessed it, another miss as uh, Quenville only ever uh, played 42 NHL games. Now he's still young, obviously, and still maybe could become a depth player in the at the NHL level. But he only has two goals and three assists for five career points and a minus four rating. He's spent most of his career in the AHL um, and just hasn't fully made that jump yet to the NHL, so that, that makes him a miss. And finally, 2015, they selected six overall, and with that pick took center Pavel Zaka. And he is a regular in the Devils lineup, so we're going to go ahead and give him a hit as he's played 266 games in the NHL, scoring 37 goals, 71 assists, 108 points, and a minus 34 rating. I don't think Zaka has developed offensively as quickly as people thought he was going to, but I, he's still young in his early 20s. I do think he has potential to continue to grow and get better offensively. And, um, you know, like I said, he is a regular in their lineup, mostly as like a third line type player. But if he think he has the potential to become a top six guy and start to produce more offensively, and that will make this pick a hit. So I'm going to say hit on Pavel Zaka. Um, yeah, they haven't picked a whole lot in the first round during this time span. Um, and when they have, they've missed a lot of them. This has not been great drafting from New Jersey, to say the least. And I think that's one of the many reasons that they're in the situation that they're in now. I mean, you look at these draft picks. Um, Berg Fors did not last long. Corrente barely touched NHL ice. Ted and B did not last long. Josephson was never more than a fourth liner. Larson they traded away. Mateau has barely touched NHL ice. Quenville got traded away and has barely played in the NHL. So, you know, you look at, you know, Zaka has turned out okay. Larson has turned out okay, but he's been traded. I mean, they, they, they have not drafted well. So, that's a big reason why the Devils are in the situation that they're in. But with that, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.